Hi, my name is Khalid and welcome to yet another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to teach everyone how to create a content box. Uh, we're going to apply some uh, styles to the content box. We're going to apply uh, a font to the content box and we're also going to slice the content box and and I will show you how it looks on an HTML document and uh, also I will show you how it, how the uh, source code looks so here we go click on file new and I'm going to be using a saved preset that I saved earlier today which is 200 pixels in width and 400 pixels in height and we'll name this content box next thing you want to do is go up to layer new click on layer to add a new layer and name this top content box then go to your rectangle marquee tool make sure feather is set to zero style is set to fix size width is 200 pixels and height is 35 pixels then left click uh, anywhere within your document then you have this rectangle 200 by 35 pixels in height uh, rectangle um, and then make sure your foreground is set to black you can press the X button on your keyboard and now press alt delete to fill in your uh, top content box layer then press alt um, I'm sorry, uh, Control D to deselect. And then uh, go to your layers palette and right click the doc uh, with, within the uh, top content box and choose blending options. And click on gradient overlay. And I'm going to be using a dark red to light red. But for now, I'm going to use uh, reverse so that the light red's on top and the dark red's on the bottom. And then duplicate this layer by pressing Control J. Once you've duplicated the layer, double click uh, on the text and name this bottom content box. and choose the move tool and then left click on your image and drag down and then after that um, let's go up to layer new create a new layer and name this middle content box and then make sure feather is set to zero style is set to pick size, width is set to 200 pixels, and height is set to 330 pixels. Left click within your document and choose uh, Alt Delete. Then go to your layers uh, palette and uh, choose blending options. And then choose a color uh, color overlay and I'm going to use a nice red color which is 8F0606 and I'm also going to apply an inner shadow distance of 1 size of 5 and make sure the angle is set to 90 degrees then I'm going to choose my horizontal type tool. Make sure uh, your foreground is set to white. You can do that by pressing the X key on your keyboard. And then type, uh, make sure the caps key is on and type out navigation. Then make sure in your layers palette the navigation layer is selected 
and then hold the control key and select top content box that way the navigation and the top content box are both blue then align vertical centers align horizontal centers now make sure navigation is selected and it's the and that's the only box that is the color blue and choose blending options and we'll add a outer glow to the navigation box and uh, once you're done with that we'll go ahead and slice the image zoom into our document name oops name this top content top content box name this A1 then also another layer A2 and A2 will be used uh, for when you're adding text to your uh, when you're adding text to your HTML document this will be A3 and this one will be named blog zoom out once your uh, once your image is sliced click on file save for devices web and devices make sure you choose uh, a, a settings that you like I'm going to use GIF 128 ether and I'm going to name this content box save type HTML and images settings default settings slices all slices and if it asks to replace anything which I don't think it will do on your computer because I have uh, previously created this document but uh, the timing was over 10 minutes so now let's go ahead and view the HTML document and as you can see you have your navigation top navigation content box your bottom you have your and you have your middle. And if you want to see what the source code, what the source code looks like, click on View Source Code, and there you have it. You have a table with the width of 200, height of 400, your top button box A1, A2, A4. A4 you could actually delete this if you wanted to, and then you have A3 and bottom content box. The reason why I deleted uh, content box 04 GIF is because you don't need to use that when coding our HTML document. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.